Ooh, what it is, you two? It's your boy DC coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing uh, you know, a breakdown of the vocal chain that we used on the plugins alliance course. You know, we use some plugin alliance plugins. So let's get to it right now. If y'all like this video, don't forget to waste no time, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, if I want to support the channel, check the links. Um, you know, get get a preset or some shit. All right, let's move it. You say if I'm playing with you. Say he don't wanna be with you. Just believe him, girl, it's not an issue. Cause it's real ones wanna be with you. I'll do you better, baby, I'll do you better. Now I'm at playing you dirty. How long will you let on? I know you well, baby, I know you well. That's why I wish him well. Cause you're gonna bring him back. 7:30, all I want is you. All I want is you in the east. All I want is you. All I want is you. Seven thirty. All I want is you. All I want is you in the east. All I want is you. All I want is you. All right, really dope. So the most important thing as an engineer, you gotta understand that you as the engineer, you have the advantage on the listener because you know the whole story. So when you're an engineer, you're kind of like the tour guide. You you got all the information, and now you you kind of telling the audience, which is the people who who's on the tour, about the different animals in the zoo and shit like that. You feel me? You're you're you you have the keys. You know, you're the gatekeeper. You have all the information, and there's a certain way that you can pick to organize and detail things, right? So, for example, I knew the hook was going to be big. So, because I already know the hook is going to be big, I made the lead verse dry as fuck with little to no reverb. So, um, you know, interestingly enough, rather than using actual automation, just the, the hook tracks, the hook tracks have Valhalla reverb on it. You feel me? And, you know, of course, you know, for the crazy people, ooh, let me see the auto-tune settings. I'm using the uh, Waves tune real time. I like this one. The shit just sound natural, okay? So, let's look at the vocal chain, all right? Um, you know, that's the first thing to know. How are you going to organize your vocal? How are you going to give out the information and the details, all right? So, okay, we have the Kurchikov EQ, and uh, most importantly, you know, I like this because this is a great alternative, the Fab Filter. Uh, not necessarily cheap, but it has a, a bunch of different shapes and stuff like that, you know? Like, you have high pass, you have, uh, like, a SSL E type of slope, you know, you have a bunch of different types of shapes. So you can really, like, you know, be like a pottery motherfucking really just shape or, you know, really just kind of get this statue to look the way you want it to be. You're an artist, you know? You say if I'm playing with you Say he don't wanna be with you Just believe him, girl, it's not an issue Cause it's real ones wanna be with you And do you better, baby, I'll do you better so as i'm setting my low end frequency um you know i'm just kind of hearing how far back i want to push the vocal right so that's how i set my low end and of course i listen to the person's voice too but for sure it's a combination of between how thin i want the vocals to be but most importantly the distance less low end pushes the vocal back you feel me so after that i use this uh dope plugin which is the kive um, the Kive Distressor. So it's modeling a distressor, but it's dope because it has some different features from a regular distressor. You can control the uh, saturation circuit independently. And actually, this is like a thing on the distressor where you can actually buy like a separate kit. I think it's for the actual fat so though, where pretty much you can control the amount of distortion you're getting. So, you know, I turned it on, but I didn't actually really use it or nothing like that, but it still gives a sound. You feel me? You say
Oh. All right, strategic as fuck. Strategic as fuck. You peep how the um, reverb is on the actual audio track, right? For the hook, just for the hook parts to build that momentum rather than automation. So this reverb is also getting compressed by this kive. So it actually makes it feel the reverb feel way bigger and denser. So this is a strategic ass shit I did, bro. You feel me? And uh, just listen to the reverb, you know, it becomes not necessarily louder, but when you compress your reverb, it brings up the noise floor, making the reverb feel bigger without actually adding more reverb. Be with you. thing about this plugin too is that you see the thd it's adding saturation like you know um and of course i use the high pass uh the high filter to not look at some of the belly button of the vocal i don't want to look at the gut Ugh, don't look at the stomach all right two to one ratio i like that for the vocal just because that lighter ratio collects the whole entire vocal when you use a higher ratio it, it works on more peak energy you feel me type shit you know so that's why a low ratio is great two to one all right, collects the whole vocal together in a basket. Puts all the eggs in a basket. I use the fucking Waves um, de-esser, but you could always use the uh, Plugin Alliance. Uh, which one is it? It's the black one. The Lindell de-esser. It, the de-esser is the de-esser. Don't matter the brand. Better, baby, I'll do you better. Girl, I want you for a reason. Not you only for the weekend. You don't believe me. Know your ass, then you're greasy. You're the only one I need. Now look how I'm needing anything you want from me. Loving all my loyalty. Get out of me. I can drum in the east. And you're bringing out the best. The man out of me. 730, all I want is you. All I want is All right, so after that, then we use the uh, Wave C6. I Man, I just love this plugin. There's a couple of DSers with Plugin Alliance, but specifically, I like I like the Wave C6. It just has a certain sound just running through it, and I like this preset. So it has a built-in DSer into it. So my actual DSer is only doing a little bit of work, and I'm just sharing. I'm sharing it. You know, I'm sharing the losses. You feel me? Like 2008. You feel me? I'm sharing the losses. You feel me? You feel me? Everybody's losing in the fucking stock market and the fucking real estate. So everybody, we're sharing. We're sharing the pain. So the DSer is uh, gonna be doing a little bit of the job too, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it's on this one. Girl, I want you for a reason, not you only for the weekend. You don't believe me, know your ass, then you're greasy. You're the only one I need, now look how I'm needing anything you want from me. Loving all my loyalty, get out of me. I got drama in the east, and you're bringing out the best. Girl, I want you for a reason, not you only for the weekend. You don't believe me, know your ass, then you're greasy. You're the only one I need, now look how I'm needing anything you want from me. So yeah, on purpose, you see that the, the low end is being compressed. I liked it because, um, you know, on the Kirchhoff, the <laughs> Kirchhoff EQ, I only wrote off like 90 hertz, bro. You feel me? I still want my vocal to feel like it's up front in your face and intimate because of the subject matter that the man talking about love and shit like that. So, I, you know, I, I kind of like to do that. I kind of like to be lazy on my first EQ, but then my multiband compressor is the one that's going to hold that motherfucking low end. So you still hear the, the meat and the body of the chicken wings. You say you keep on playing with you. Say you don't want to be with you. Just believe him, girl, it's not an issue Cause it's real ones wanna be with you Man, do you better, baby, I'll do you better Now man playing you dirty, how long will you let on? I know you well, baby, I know you well Really dope, really dope After that, we use the Arvox, we know what that does Just to use the uh, Avid EQ I could have used the Kirchhoff again, but I just used the Avid just because, you know, you know, I, I was working quickly. A great plugin as well. Not a, a plugin alliance plugin, but this is the um, the Ozone Clarity. I always talk about this one. It's an upwards compressor. And uh, yeah, an upwards like kind of compressor expander that gives me my natural air rather than boosting EQ. You say keep on playing with you. Say he don't wanna be with you Just believe him, girl, it's not an issue Cause it's real ones wanna be with you Man, do you better, baby, I'll do you 
better. That man playing you dirty. How long will you last? And I like that plugin a lot because it knows that there's some harsh in it and it dips it down. Harshness. You say if I'm playing with you. Say he don't want to be with you. Just believe him, girl, it's not an end. All right, after that, I use the ozone stabilizer. I use the pop preset, and this is just kind of like cutting any anything that I missed so far, you know? Because especially, um, I like to do this move where I use the um, clarity to push up all the good stuff and then the stabilizer to clean up the, the mess that the jits going to leave, you know, after they've been playing on the rug. You say if I'm playing with you Say he don't want to be with you Just believe him, girl, it's not an issue Cause it's real was one important let's not forget that our reverb is also hitting into our chain again right let's not forget that so the reverb is also being uh you know the the mid-range is also being cut into um with this plugin as well so it's making the reverb sound cleaner so that's a strategic reason why i didn't just put it on an aux because if i would have put the reverb on the aux and automated it, it it would be working independently of the rest of the processing and i feel like the compressor and also the stabilizer is, is contributing to the sound of the reverb feeling like glued but huge at the same time i use the c-suite um vox man i use this shit when there's vocal noise and i just like how the oversampling adds a nice little thing to the vocals girl i want you for a reason not you only for the weekend you don't believe me know your ass then you're greasy you're the only one i need now look how i'm needing Girl, I want you for a reason, not you only for the weekend You don't believe me, know your ass, then you're greasy You're the only one I need, now look how I'm needing Anything you want from me, loving all my loyalty Get out of me, I could drama in the east And you're bringing out Girl, I want you for a reason, not you only for the weekend You don't believe me, know your ass, then you're greasy You're the only one I need, now look how I'm needing Anything you want from me, loving all my loyalty Get out of me, I yeah, it's, for me, it's just the oversampling and all this compression and especially the upwards processing can start to bring back some noise into the vocal. So that's why I use that. And this is my little glitch that I've been doing lately, CLA 76. Um, and I just parallel blend it. And I just love how it has this great saturation, the transistor specifically, the high mid presence and density that this plugin gives me is just, it's just on point, bro. You say if I'm playing with you, say he don't want to be with you, just believe him girl it's not an issue, cause it's real was going to be with you, man do you better, baby I'll do you better, that man playing you dirty, how long will you last? a glitch that's just a, a glitch bro just a just a nice little nine percent mix bro it just it just makes the vocals feel solid and adds so much fucking presence bro oh my gosh yeah you could do it um the on a parallel ox too but i just like just slapping it on the you know thingy and doing it this way quick with the mix knob for me it kind of sounds quicker and easier to use you know on my parallel compression i had the um plugin alliance purple mc 77 dope plugin right because this one has a sidechain filter where the waves doesn't and also lets you fuck with the headroom too so the sidechain filter is great because if it's not looking at the the low end of the vocal it just makes the compressor more responsive and quicker all right you know i want a quick response because i got on a fast release too you know you say if i'm playing with you say
Cause it's real ones wanna be with you Man, do you better Baby, I'll do you better Now man, play you dirty I'm on what you let on I know you well Baby, I know you well That's why I wish you well Cause you gonna bring it back So yeah, this is kind of a trick I do Where sometimes I let most of my vocal sound be parallel compression Especially because his vocal is kind of like lightweight and shit like that. It, that's another reason why I didn't roll off that much low end. That's why I, this vocal sound is mostly the parallel compressed sound. So I go between these two oxes, right? Look, boom. These three oxes, actually. This is the original vocal. This is the parallel compressed vocal. And this is where the motherfucker combines together. Once I got a good blend between these two, these two, then I just finalize it through here. Yeah? So um yeah most like most of the vocal sound is just the parallel compressed sound you know You say you don't play with you Say he don't wanna be with you Just believe him girl it's not an issue Cause it's real ones wanna be with And of course you know I want my parallel copy to be transientless cuz it's the denser version that's why the limiter is like there, you know, because the limiter takes off all the peaks. So it's just like a block. It's a Lego my ego block of uh, sound. Right. So that's why I, I talk about that, you know, where the lead vocal has all the transients, all the up and down. Uh, you. And sometimes I might just automate between these two shits, you know, um, it's kind of like molting the vocal. So um, lead vocal combiner, you know, where both of them go the last bus stop. You got the Spectre. Putting in that work on the fucking mid range. You say you keep on playing with you. Say he don't wanna be with you. Just believe him, girl, it's not a nation. Cause it's real ones wanna be with you. Man, do you better, baby? I'll I know the haters gonna say, but I hear noise. Why, why is there noise? Well, obviously, don't you see the fucking uh, 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 arrangement is minimal as fuck when it comes to the music. The music is just like so like wide open that I kind of it kind of felt empty. So I added a little bit of, like noise on some of my plugins. But look, Faraday limiter, keeping my shit in check. Fresh air. We know what that do. We know what that do. We know what the soothe do. All right, cool. Let's look at um the reverb, right? On my, on my reverb, on my quarter note delay, I use Echo Boy and I had a chorus, Brainworks chorus, really dope. So I had a chorus quarter note, right? And that just kind of like helped it wash away a little bit. Um, What else plugin lines, plugins I use? I use the Kive tape on the background, the background vocal right here. Uh, no, nah, I actually use the EQ. I think I use the Kive tape. No, nah, I just use the fucking EQ, bro. I use the EQ, all right? Be with you Just believe him, girl, it's not a nation Cause it's real ones wanna be Be with you Just believe him, girl, it's not a nation To create that little one-shot effect, that background vocal sauce And also, you know, because these are the actual original effects that came I just used the air band and cranked it up a little bit To help it just get that brightness, that mainstream brightness and right here on this little reverse shit too. That's pretty much the end of the video here today. We went over everything. Just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Wanted to break down how I use the Plugin Alliance plugins to mix this really dope mainstream sound and vocal pop, radio, billboard type shit. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Want to get a vocal preset? Check it down below. Appreciate you, YouTube now. Peace.